Good evening, and uh, welcome to yet another playthrough of Arkham Horror, the card game. Night of the Sealed Campaign, Scenario 3, featuring Schizo Tool and on the Tabletop Simulator. Okay, just a moment here. Have to set the correct mood. Okay, I hope that is a correct volume for the music so you can hear what I'm saying. First of all, I want to say I'm sorry because this has taken far too long time for me to post this scenario. But a lot of things in real life came between me and Arkham Horror. So I have spent a couple of days in Berlin and haven't had I have had a wonderful time there. And this week I hear the Arkham Horror the card game should have its release upon the world. Since I'm living in Sweden, perhaps it will take a couple of days longer. But hopefully, in two days I have it in my hands. Okay, when we last left it, we had been on a frantic search uh, for a number of cultists spread out all over Arkham. We found three of them, but not all. There were six, if I remembered it correctly. Here is the continuation, and of course, spoiler, spoiler alert. If you do not want to know anything about what's happening in the game, because it is that kind of game that you want to experience for the first time. And for the second time you already know some stuff what's going to happen. And that might lessen your own experience a bit. Uh, if you're that type of person that wants to experience everything for the first time. Uh, you should actually not watch this video or my pre previous videos for that matter. Anyway, I don't expect this uh, playthrough to go very well, I can tell you that, but we will play it to its conclusion anyway, just to see how bad it can go. Part 3, The Devourer Below After a frantic nighttime search throughout Arkham, I have tracked down and question several members of the cult. Your findings are disturbing. They claim to worship a being known as Umordoth, a monstrous entity from another realm. You are able to confirm much of Lita's story. The cult is agitated over the destruction of a ghoul there. However, a surprising detail also turns up. The one who invaded the lair and set this night's events in motion was none other than Lita Chandler herself. You're not sure why this important detail was omitted from Lita's story? Did she tell you only as much as was needed to draw you into her, her conflict? But in another light, she seems to be fighting to protect the city of Arkham from a terrible menace. The final piece of the puzzle was found written in a journal possessed by one of the cultists. It describes a dark ritual to be performed deep within the woods south of Arkham this very night. According to the journal, the ritual's completion will open a gate that bring forth the cult's dark master into this world. If the cult is not stopped, Lisa warns, there is a possibility that Umordoth's vengeance will consume all in its path. Frightened but determined to stop the ritual, you head into the woods. <clears throat> so I have gathered all the cards. And this scenario, uh, there is 
a set of cards that should be used especially for this scenario but also for other groups of cultists those are agents of Yogg-Sothoth, agents of Shubh-Nigurath, agents of Cthulhu and agents of Hasta. I can say I rolled a random and it told me I should go with a yellow sign so let's see what that means so those are shuffled in i also have at hand the in the cultist that we missed from previous scenarios since i have a good feeling they will make themselves known in this one since i let three uh, go three of the cultists escape I will start with two doom on agenda 1a I will also add a special chaos token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign okay so there we are let's jump right in shall we let's see we are out here in the woods. There is a main path and four identical Arkham Woods locations. And let's see, where is my token bag? There is the special counter, an elder thing. It goes in there, gets a good shuffle. And the elder thing in this scenario is minus five. And if there's an ancient one enemy in play, reveal another token. That does not look very good, does it? Well, it's supposed to get harder. I will shuffle my deck up. I can say there's no changes from my previous deck. Uh, in the previous scenario, number two, uh, I only got four XP, of which two were eaten by my hospital bills that I couldn't pay. So I only had two XP going into this last scenario, and I found nothing that I really wanted to produce. So I saved them instead. Okay, let's do this. First, the agenda. From interrogating members of the conspiracy within Arkham, I have learned that they are performing a rite of vengeance in response to the destruction of one of their master's lairs. You have entered the woods outside Arkham to try to stop them. The woods seem unnaturally cold and filled with deathly silence. Needing four to complete to advance. And our act is the evidence you've gathered has led you to the woods south of Arkham, where you believe a ritual to summon a being called Umordoth is about to take place. Stealing your resolve, you set forth deeper into the woods, hoping to find the site of the ritual. Needing three clue tokens. Okay. Here we are. We're gonna draw five cards for Roland. And we'll see what we get. Uh-oh. Okay, so an expected courage is good. Leo is always great. Burglary, not that bad if I want the resources. A switchblade and a derringer. All good cards, but no early resources. Okay. I will keep it all and just let do this. So we are starting at the main path. 
and flip it up. Main part 2, Shroud 0 clues. The main part is connected to each other woods location. And I'm when I am at the main part, I can resign. There's nothing we can do to stop them. You flee from the woods, leaving Arkham to his grisly fate. Okay. Well, sounds bad. What should I do? I have five resources. Should I get some more money? Perhaps? Just prepare. It's good to be prepared. For one, I will play the burglary. And I will investigate here and see if we can dig up some cash for this. Uh, three against two. Not much, but could help. At a zero. I'm lucky. So I will gain three resources from burglary. And my last action could then be play Leo de Luca for five. Now Leo gives me another action, and for that I could, I could, if I would, go to a new location. Let's go up here. Who knows? It's a nice piece of wood here. Yeah, and it's the cliffside. This location is interesting. Investigate is investigated uses agility instead of the skill indicated on the, by the investigation attempt. Okay, there's a clue. Two shroud and agility. That's interesting. Should I do that? It's very agile. Yes, Paul. Hmm. No. I could take another action by using his skill there. During your turn, I can spend two resources. Take an additional action. But I will save those two for a rainy day. I will end my turn here. We go to the enemy face, which here is none. And so we get the resource. And we draw a card. Manual dexterity. Giving me a good chance to evade or use agility. So, now we get the clear a Doom Token on the Mythos face and shuffle those up with good and draw card. Grasping Hands. I will test my agility for three. For each point I fail, I will take a damage. Well, I have four. We'll see. That is the tablet. Giving me minus three. Okay, so I go down to zero. Or, yeah, well, I go down to one. Actually. That means I'll take two points of damage for this. Three minus one is two. Nothing to do about that. He can take it. He has eight. But six sanity. Had to be careful with sanity. That was the Mythos face. So we go to my face. Here we go. We will try to get that clue token. 
So the first action will be grab the clue tokens. I have plus one. And I will discard manual dexterity for plus two. And if I succeed, I draw a card. So now I have mine at plus three. Plus three, that's a zero. So that's a very good success. I'll get this clue token. And due to manual dexterity, I draw a card. Another copy of Leo de Luca. Should he in some way be removed from play? He's very important. Okay, what's next? Do I have time? This leads to that location. That's a red. So this leads to none of these. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I will go back to the central main path for my second action. For my third action, I will go down here. It is Arkham Wood, the Quiet Glade. For an action, heal one damage or heal one horror. Name it once per turn. One shroud, zero clues. And for my fourth action, I will heal damage. And my... We'll take a fifth action, really. I will pay two for that, and I will use the burglary in here. Since I just paid two and I get three, well, that's... Is that stupid? I think it is. That's not even good math. math. I can just take an action to get uh, a resource. So, why risk anything if I really want the resource? So, I'll do that. So, it's the enemy phase. Since there are none, we go to the refresh phase. So, we refresh everything. <coughs> Just excuse me. Still have a bit of cold. I get the resource, and I will draw a new card, which is a switchblade. Okay, so up to the middle space we go. Hi ho. And draw this rotting remains. Okay. Deep in the woods, in the quiet glade, I find rotting remains. I was not expected that, so I will have to test my will. This is not good for me, because I only have two. This is the time I will use unexpected courage. Taking me to four. To mitigate some of that. Zero, so I succeeded completely. Lucky me. Okay, good. Then it's investigate the face again. For my first action, I will try to dig up some old pirate loot. I know there are in these woods. It's a minus one. That is a success, because 3 minus 1 is 2 versus 1, netting me 3 resources. Okay, I am well in cash. Second action, I will heal this with the, the glades effect. And for my third action, I will go up to the main path. And for my fourth action, I will go up here. 
to the old house. This location is investigated using will instead of the skill indicated by the investigation attempt. A house waits at the edge of the trail, covered in vines. Inside the walls and floors are blood stained and littered with dirt, mud, and discarded bones. Okay. Let's see here. No, it does not connect to anything. Anyway, it has a clue token. So, I will... Hmm, only that has had a clue token. I need three. I really hope this one has one. Anyway, that was my fourth action. I could pay for one more. Am I in a hurry? I think I am. I will try to get this clue token with my sixth action. So, my three against two is one. Do I have anything? I have my spell near Luca. Okay, so four against two. What could go wrong? Everything could go wrong. Zero against two. That's a complete failure. Okay, I know when I'm beat, so I will go to skip the enemy face and go to refresh. Give me a new card. Sure, Gamble. Ah, my experienced card, my level three card. You can see that by there are three pips below the cost up in the left corner. So, fast, after you reveal a chaos token with a negative modifier, switch that token minus to a plus. And that actually works for the, these tokens too. That gate gives me minus. They change to plus instead. In the recent frequently asked questions I've read. So, great card. We go up to the mythos space and give this the third. And this card. Grasping hands. Again. Is there nothing else? Rotting remains and grasping hands. Oh well, I have plus one for this test. So I will try my luck. That's a skull. X is the number of monster enemies in play. That's zero. So I succeed. And this gets discarded. Okay, as my first action, I will try to get the clue. I have three against two. And that's a minus one, a minus zero again. Okay, I might have the mythos on my side this time. Famous last words. For my second action, I will go down here. At the twisting path. Forced, when you move out of this location, test Law 3. If you fail, cancel the effects of the move. This pawn seems to twist and turn upon itself. Almost as if it were alive. Alive. Yes. There is a clue token. And there's a three shroud. Making it kind of hard for me to actually do.
do anything here. And it leads to back to the main path, the green and the dark green. There is, there is, this leads up there. I would like to get over there, but I'm here, so, okay, I will try. I have three against three, so I will try to get it. Uh, no, I did not succeed. Oh, it's useless. For my fourth action with Leo Luca, I will draw a card. Okay, it's a fight. This attack uses agility instead of strength. Deals two damage, plus two damage. Could come in handy. So, my turn has ended. Yes, it has. There are still no enemies, so we just refresh. So we get a resource and draw a card. And it's my paranoia. <sighs> Discard all your resources. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Easy come, easy go. That hurts. Now I need to go back to the Arkham Woods and dig some with my burglary. We go to the Mythos phase where this gets its fourth. And that means it continues. Throughout the woods, a shrieking cry echoes. From somewhere deeper in the forest, a score of hideous voices answer the call, inhuman as the baying of hounds, and yet articulate, repeating, and singular name. O Mordoth, O Mordoth, O Mordoth. I will shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Discard cards from the top until a monster enemy is discarded. Spawn that enemy at the main path. Then place one doom on that enemy. Okay, things got real. So these go back here. I will shuffle them up and I will discard until I get a monster. That's a human cultist. Not the monster. Here's a monster. It's a ghoul. It spawns here. Waiting for someone to come by, perhaps. Well, it's a ravenous ghoul. Yeah, it's a prey. It doesn't have hunt. But since I will have to go by the main path. Okay. Oh, this cold. I have a man cold. It's very, very bad. I'm dying. Oh well, it will pass. So, what's next? Okay, the chanting continues. The chanting builds in intensity, echoing into the cold air of the night. The sparse clouds in the sky coalesce above Arkham Woods, blotting out the faint light of the stars. Each enemy gets plus one fight and plus one evade. And it has five difficulty. Okay. 
So this is a 434 instead, making it a lot harder actually to hit. But hit it I will. How will I do this? I will need my derringer. Okay, what's the first action I must take? I must have this clue, or I cannot advance this. I will try. We are equal. I need zero, or better. Hey, look at that. That's a zero. So I succeed. I get the clue. When can I do this? Anytime, it says. Or it doesn't say when I can do it. And when that means I can do it anytime. <sighs> What's the worst that could happen? I will spend my clues immediately. Three clues goes. And since that was my first action, we will remember that. Scattered throughout the forest, you've seen glyphs and arcane sigils in various places, etched into the bark of trees, carved upon the faces of stones, and dripped in blood upon the ground. Though you cannot decipher the glyphs, you notice that most of them tend to face south. Following these signs leads you by twists and turns toward a cave in the darkest and coldest part of the forest. As you advance, shadowy figures emerge from the trees, blocking the only path to the cave. Okay, so I will find a ritual site and put it into play. Here it is. Search the collection for each enemy recorded in the campaign about those who got away. And I have them in a good place. It's not that one. It's not these. I had them in a good place. Didn't I? So where did I put them? So, no. I'm a bit confused, really. It's, it's not here. There we are. Ah, it's Ruth Turner, Wolfman Drew, and Victoria Devereaux. Does it have anything? It has... No hunting? No hunting. And 
there's the ghoul. Yeah. What else? Nothing else. What now? The remaining cultists have followed you into the woods to try to stop you, and now they block the path to your objective. They stand ominously beneath the overhanging trees, silent sentinels in the night. You must defeat them or sneak past if you are to gain access to the site of the ritual. Objective. If an investigator enters the ritual site, advance. Okay. That is actually an issue. It is an issue. There is no other way to go to the ritual site but using the main path. Okay. Now I would really like to be sneaky. All I can do is fight and I am not very good at it. This led to that though. So I can begin with going up there, my second action. And for my third action, I will use burglary to try to get something out of that. I'm at plus one. That's a minus one, gives me equal. That is success. Three resources. And for my fourth action, I will play this gun. For three. I will just put them here, since there are three bullets in the gun. Okay, I have better than average chance to fight now. I will say it's enemy face. No hunters, they are just waiting up there. Good for me. So we get a refresh face. And give me some money. Thank you. And a card. Well, I need a lot of resources to use that. But it could really come in handy now. Okay. Mythos face. Plus one fight and plus one evade. That's not pretty. Ancient evils. Some tentacles. Place one doom on current agenda. This event can cause the current agenda to advance. Dark forces stir against you. If you do not act quickly, a sinister plot will be fulfilled. Yeah, no kidding. So, another doom token on this. Time is ticking. Time have to tick, since I cannot do much about that. Do I have a chance? She wants money. He cannot be bought off. She, if I evade her, she re gets removed. Okay. But she has five, plus one is six. So no big chance of evading her with my current cards. I can come up to equal. I would need 
more money. I will try to burgle again. So, with plus one, I get a skull. Let's see, are we having any monsters? It's a humanoid. There's a monster. Minus one. Monster enemy in play. But that only gives minus one. Making me successful. But equal. What did I do? I will have to give myself resources. Three to be exact. Okay, for my second action. Okay, now I have to be able to play this. And this, but I don't have enough for both. That's my second action. <clears throat> I will need to do stuff. Yes. It's not easy. It's not at all easy. But I will try. So I will move here. Seeing that the path is completely crowded. Do I even have enough life to be able to take these? Yeah, well, one time I can. And I will, as my third action, evade Ruth Turner. I'm at minus one, minus two, actually. I can do this. No, I cannot. My last action will be to... <sighs> what should I do? Fights of five. Same as me. It's for life. Okay. He hits very hard. I will try to evade her again. Minus two. That's a tablet. Minus three. If there's a monster, I take one damage. Okay, let's do this. For minus three, I will give it plus three instead. Making me succeed. But there was a monster. So I take a damage. I succeed. She is evaded and add to victory display. Okay. Now I have one action left if I pay for it. Is there anyone that fights like a sissy? Well, they fight for four or five. Ravenous ghoul, perhaps. Spend five resources, sir. Uh, I have two. No, I will have to chance it. Yes, I will. So my turn is over. It's enemy face, and I get a hit from that. 
that's one of each. Then Wolfman gives me two physical and she one physical, so three more. I'm more than half dead. Okay, so it's reset time. I'll hope I'll find some answers. Just a backstab. Another backstab. Well, this is the turn I will have to decimate some of these. Mythos face and draw a card. Which is a good minion, of course. Move one, get another one, but worse. Okay. What can I do? I can deal five damage with success. So I will start the turn by trying to do that. My first action will be to use my gun. I get plus two attack for this. And if I succeed by two more, I deal plus one damage. That's really, really bad. Backstab. I have four. I can discard a few cards. I get deal three, three damage with this. Is that enough? Yes, it is. So I will try to backstab. Costing me three. I'll backstab a ravenous ghoul, which has three. Plus one is four against my four. I will discard one, two, plus two. I'm conservative. Here we go. <laughs> Minus three. I missed by one. Well, I could have discarded one more, but I did not. Now I'm out of options. Now I have to evade to be able to get out of here. If I should have any chance of succeeding. <coughs> I would try to evade this ghoul minion. That's my... Is it my second action? The first action was to hit, yeah. My second action is to evade the ghoul minion. Which has three, thanks to the agenda. Against four, I'm at plus one. And that's actually bad for me. So now I take damage and fail. I will have to try it again. Minus one. This time I succeed. I do evade him. Can I take the rest? Why did I do that? That's so stupid. Oh, I should have evaded Wolfman Drew instead. I will cheat a bit. I will say I did that, because Wolfman Drew is far worse. He has the same value to evade, but does two damage, physical damage. So, what we have left is one, two physical, one psychic, three, two. Can I take three, two?
Yes, I can. Theoretically. Do that. But it will cost me DeLuca. Might be worth it, just to see if I can survive. So my final action will be move here. Oh no, I cannot. Oh no. Just got that rule wrong. My final action will have to be another evade. Won't it? I will try to evade the ravenous, a ravenous ghoul. I am at equal for him. Uh, I can always take this instead. I'm at plus one. Plus one. That's minus one. That's perfect. Meaning I get to evade him too. Okay. Let's do this. Enemy face is Ravenous Ghoul. He hits me for 1 1. This time it's Leo De Luca that takes that. And the last one, Victoria Devereaux, just hits me once. Okay, so I live to tell the tale. One life from dying. I will refresh everything. There, there. And draw a card. More burglary laughs, laughs at my face. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Metal's face. One from completing. I need to get to ritual site. Here we will do some serious fighting to be able to do anything here. I think I'm lost, guys, my friends. There is no escape from all these creatures and cultists. There is always one that will give me something, even if I evade everyone. I will try. I'll try to evade the ghoul minion, of which I have plus one. Complete an utter tentacled failure. Okay. Then I will try it again. That is a minus. It's a monster. That's a monster. That's a minus two. Take a damage. Because that's what it does. No. No, it does not. Okay, I asked minus two then. That's a success, uh, failure anyway. Uh, yeah, now we are doomed. I'll evade it again. Uh, that's a minus five. I say that's a miss. And for my last action, I will... No, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Ignore that one. For my last action. Actually, I will resign. 
There is nothing we can do to stop them. You flee from the woods, leaving Arkham to his grisly fate. Yeah, that's what skids would do. Skids will not stay here against those odds. That's not who Skids is. He has places to be. Whiskey to drink. Girls to uh, date or something. Uh, yeah, okay. What happens when I do that? That is a resolution, eh? I will see. See, if no resolution was reached or each investigator resigned, too frightened to face the fate, her fate, Lita flees into the night. She realizes that she has failed and Umordoth's vengeance will pursue wherever she goes. The creature's tendrils spread throughout the city of Arkham searching for her. It lurks in the darkness of every corner, tugging at the seams of reality. But Lita is nowhere to be found, so the creature dwells in the shadows by the, to this day, searching, killing. I will log in my campaign log that Arkham succumbed do Mordoth's terrible vengeance. Each surviving investigator is killed and the investigators lose. Okay, so we see a complete and utter failure at the hands of Umordoth. Okay, that was expected, really. Uh, not easy to... Uh, to deal with all these enemies all by myself. If I had more people around the table, it would be a lot easier, I can tell you that. I don't think it would be too easy though, since each investigator each round draws one card from the deck. Perhaps adding another enemy yeah, knowing what I know now, perhaps it wasn't ideal to leave three cultists in the previous scenario. But hey, we do this because we want to know what's happening. And seeing what I see now, this game has a very uh, good potential for replay. Because each game will definitely turn out differently. So, okay. Without further ado, I will not take up more of your time. I'll thank you for watching this playthrough. Even if this scenario was a bit late in the tooth. So, until we meet next time. This is Mix. Have a nice day.